Hello friends, I am Dr. Suresh Giragani, Intervention Radiologist at Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills. Today, I am going to discuss about one interesting and rare vascular anomaly seen in newborns and infancy that is vein of gallon malformation. So this is an antenatal scan done at 30 weeks. You can see a large venous pouch in the midline and having color flow suggesting that it is a vascular malformation having multiple arterial fluidus. So if it is untreated, it is incompatible with life in usually 80% of the cases. So if it is diagnosed early during the growth, uh, the baby is usually aborted. If it is diagnosed late, then the options are limited, only endovascular embolization is the option. And uh, in this case, we thought we will plan the case once the baby is born. So an MR was done at uh, day 2. So the why we have done MR big basically because it is having multiple fistulae. Uh, there is a kind of venous hypertension is created inside the brain that causes demyelination or dysmyelination and uh, delayed maturation of the brain and sometimes heterocephalus also. So to see all these features we have done the MRI and uh, this MRI showed you can see that confirmation of this large venous pouch which you can see as hyperintensity on the uh, the top images with multiple arterial fluidus and there was uh, there were about eight arterial fluidus so if untreated it can cause brain maturation issues and uh, delayed milestones sometimes complete mental retardation apart from other complications like bleeding and uh, hydrocephalus all the complications we have to treat it as early as possible uh, so we did the embolization at two stages the first stage was done at four months of uh, Age. So these these are the images of the first stage of embolization where we went transfemorally into the different arteries of the the anterior circulation, anterior artery and uh, the anterior carotid artery, and embolize those fluids from the anterior circulation using coils and glue. And the second setting was done at a later date, at eight months of age, using uh, again coils and glue. So at the end of the embolization, you can see that the, this disappearance of this moon-shaped sac. Uh, in the angiography before and after images you can see. So that tells that the venous pouch is completely uprooted and uh, after the embolization you can see the clinical outcome. This is the upper corner image is about 4 months of age and you see the right image is when the child is at 8 months of age after the embolization. He was walking with support with not much of any neurological deficits and uh, he so to conclude that vein of gallon malformation is a rare congenital malformation. Treatment is mandatory to prevent neurological damage and to prevent effects on the heart and the timing can be variable. We can do it at uh, neonatal period or as early as at 4 months of age and endovascular embolization is the treatment of choice. Thank you.